I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Dun, 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 to bake all the cookies and then eat them is my cause. Dun, 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 dun. And when I say bake the cookies, I really mean that Mal did that. Dun, 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 dun. Because if I tried to make the cookies, they'd turn out really bad. I mean, they would. Would they? I don't know. I mean, frosting in my hair. I feel like I have it everywhere. I don't actively see. I felt it hit my ear when I was using the mixer. And I don't see any. I think you're good. They look beautiful. Uh, they're kind of messy. But it's only the second time I've done royal icing in my life. Well, you did good. And Thanks. I can't wait for you to make even more. <laughs> this was this is the start of the cookie apocalypse. The rest of them aren't as... Labor well, you don't have to worry about making too many cookies. I mean, I know that you're making the royal icing cookies, but my mom apparently has been making, like, tons of cookies. Because now, she's encouraged to make even more than she normally would, because everyone's going to be here the day after Christmas for, you know, Chef Gone. So she's like, I'm just going to make a jillion cookies. Which, hey, isn't, isn't that bad. And uh, I wanted to point out the little Kepi ones. The Kepi cookies. The little Kepler cookies. Thank you. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. I'm in a good mood, you can probably tell based on the title alone. Let's let's take a walk, shall we? So yes, believe it or not, this thing is finally back. The return of Fallout 4. And it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Fallout 4 was last on Steven Plays, I believe, in August. Um, and that's, that's the eighth month, and now it's the twelfth month. So yeah, it's been like four months. And uh, I hate that <laughs> a lot. And you might be saying, so does this, you know, episode of Fallout represent four months of work? And like, I technically, I guess, because we have been, you know, working on it for four months, but it certainly doesn't feel like it because, yeah, this is four months of work along with every other video that we have produced in the last four months. Um, in an, in an ideal world, this could have, should have been out in September. I mean, realistically. But with all of the other things that have gone on in both the work and personal side of things, and then, you know, like, God, the, the hurricane, which screwed things up worse than I could have ever imagined. Um, yeah, it, it uh, got delayed. But now it's here. And as of right the second, Fallout 266 is available on Steven Place for you to go watch. And I, I encourage you to watch it before you watch the rest of this, um, since we'll be freely discussing things, uh, you know, a little bit. Not too spoilery, but a little bit if you care deeply about that series. Now, for everyone who is realizing that this is now a vlog about Fallout, and you don't watch Fallout, so you're like, okay, I'm hovering over the X to leave, I will say, before you go, consider watching episode 266. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Stephen, I haven't seen the first 265. I will be lost. You actually won't. Um, 266 is the only episode in the entire series that is completely standalone. Like, it tells a complete thought from start to finish, and uh, you will get a really cool story, because it tells the, um, the story of the Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4. Bethesda did a really good job with it. I really like the DLC. And uh, you'd never have to watch anything after that, because it ends the story. So you'll, you know, get the whole, the whole thing. Um... So, take that with you before you leave. Um, consider watching 266. You don't have to watch anything else. And you will, I, I would hope, get a chance to appreciate the amount of effort that I put into making it happen. Uh, for everyone else, let's talk about Fallout. Um, so, this, uh, this has been a, a huge, um, overwhelmingly big project. Uh, it was actually, it got pretty close to the magnitude of the original Nora Jones stuff. Um, obviously, I had to play through the entire game again, like the entire vanilla game when I did that, and I had to go through the factions. But the amount of recorded footage is actually, it's pretty close um, for this uh, Far Harbor and Nuka World stuff. Which brings me to my next point. You might be saying, this only covers Far Harbor, is that all you did? No. No, this is only half the footage. The other half of the footage is recorded and not used yet, because originally I thought I was going to be able to cover um, Far Harbor and a lot of Nuka World all in one video. 
and I recorded all this footage, I got it into Final Cut, and as I started cutting it, I was like, I am a fool. There is no way that I can get all of this to fit into one video. So um, I made the decision to cut it in half. So 266 is literally half of what I recorded. It's Far Harbor. It's the entirety of Far Harbor, which is really cool, because um, that means there's just a Far Harbor episode. Nora Jones does Far Harbor. And uh, episode 267 will begin the Nuka World arc, if you will, um, with a, a huge montage, which, you know, I haven't started cutting it yet, but it could very well take up, you know, the entire episode, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's taken a few months to do, but it's really just, it's because I'm trying to find the time to sit down and do long recordings for Fallout. That's where all of the, the time sync comes in, because I'm trying to balance so many other things all the time, that coming up at the time to say, okay, now I'm going to sit down and I really, I need to devote an entire day to recording, you know, Fallout. Uh, that's hard to do. That's really hard to do. Uh, but I finally got there and I've spent the last, like, three or four days just editing 266 and I got it done! So they can exist. Um, now the downside is because there is another episode, you know, 267, which is going to require several days of reco of, uh, of editing, that's not going to be out soon. And um, I hate that a lot, but the fact of the matter is it's the holidays now, I've got friends coming into town for a week, um, and then I've got, I've actually got more friends coming to town in January. So I'm hoping I can get 267 out not terribly long from now, but, and it's not going to be like four months, but it is going to be like a few weeks, so, and that sucks, but hey, if you've waited this long, then uh, maybe, maybe you're willing to wait just a little bit longer, but 266 is really good, it's uh, actually, I feel like it's probably, like judging it c compared to the montage stuff from the other Nord Jones episodes, um, I think it's probably the best work I've ever done. Um, there's so much time and care put on little tiny minute things that people may not even notice, like from the editing side of it, trying to make sure everything is just really perfect, um, that I'm just really, really proud of it. And I, again, I really love the fact that it tells a complete story start to finish, because that means that people that don't even you know, haven't even seen the Fallout series, can watch it and enjoy it. Or someone that played through Fallout 4, never played the DLCs, but wants to experience them without having to play them, this episode will let you do that. And that's, you know, that's really cool too. But uh, yeah, we already have all this other content recorded for December. And um, all that stuff's going to come out. And then on top of that, we're throwing this little cherry on top of getting this episode of Fallout out after all this time. Um, it's been, uh, it's been an emotional few days. Obviously, there's still more Fallout to do. Um, not much, thankfully. Uh, there's seriously only a few things that we have to wrap up, and then we'll be starting to focus on the finale, which will be another doozy, I'm sure. But, um, the fact that this is finally done has, has made me very happy. And, uh, you know, a day or so ago, I was talking on the vlog about how I've been really cheery, and it's just because I've seen the light at the end of the tunnel, and I finally got there. So, anyway, um, I know this was kind of rambly, um, but Fallout's been a very big, important thing in my life for the last few years, and uh, it's still, unfortunately, a big, important part of my life, and uh, I'm happy with what I've done. I'm really happy with this, but I am ready to finish it up. It's just, uh, you know taking some time. Thank you to everyone who has enjoyed the series, to everyone who has been patient. Um, I will say we are still accepting fan art, so if you guys, uh, you know, come up with something cool, feel free to post it on Twitter with hashtag Grit Jones. Um, there's a few episodes of Fallout left. I'd love to feature your art in these final few episodes that are going to be coming out. And, um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll talk more about this on the vlog whenever I get further into it basically anyway tomorrow's christmas eve um which i think is a you know, wonderful fitting time to to post this as a little christmas present um we still have some immense cleaning um to to do around here for chefcon um now that this is finally done 
I can shift gears elsewhere and uh, finally relax as we move into 2019. Hallelujah. Thank you all so much for watching. I sincerely, from the bottom of my soul, hope you enjoyed this episode of Fallout. And um, as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Oh, and one final thing that I find really interesting. Um, back when I did the initial batch of Nora Jones episodes, there was so much information to talk about that I actually made a little mini-doc. It's Fallout 4 episode 222, if you ever get a chance. Um, I'm not going to be making a mini-doc for this set of Nora Jones stuff, just because there's not enough things to, to speak about. But, um, one interesting thing that uh, you may notice in 266, if you're you know, a Fallout 4 fanatic and you know a bunch about Far Harbor, is that uh, the sequence of events that happened uh, cannot happen in normal gameplay. What I mean by that is, you cannot turn Dima in and send Kasumi home and then bring the Institute in to pick up everyone. That's impossible. Um, if you bring the Institute in, they have, to, they have to come in earlier in the quest line where Kasumi and Dima are actually still there. Now, for the purpose of what I wanted to tell, the story I wanted to tell, I shot it and put it into you know, the timeline in a certain way. So it would be like, oh, Dima turned himself in, we took care of that, Kasumi got to go home, everything's fine there. Then the Institute came in and took care of everyone because it's Institute Nora. But in, in actual gameplay, that can't happen. And as a result, whenever Nora um, comes in with the Institute to Acadia to clean up the synths at the very end of 266, if you pause at just the right moment, you can actually see Dima in the background for like a split second. Which is really funny to me, because, you know, if you're watching the video, he's already, like, dead. Um, but there's a there's a shot where he's in it, and I, I noticed this when I was editing, but I thought that I would leave it in as a, a fun Easter egg. And I've decided to tell you guys, because I figure, well, if you watch the vlog, then you, you deserve to know these little bonus tidbits. But, um, yeah, that was funny to me. And uh, I thought it would be interesting to know that a lot of things, um, not just this part, but... Um, a lot of things throughout 266 are not not sequential at all. Um, I moved around a ton of stuff, but uh, I think it made for a better story. Sorry, Bethesda.